I'd like to start by saying a big thank you to Project Eli for your question and uh, you have a good one. So the question I'm asked most often is how do I make a lightsaber? Well today I'm going to show you using GIMP. <laughs> so the first thing we do is we load up our picture. Uh, I pick one just one at random off the internet. I uh, probably could have picked a better picture but this will give you an idea. So the first thing I'm going to do is scale it up so I can work on it. And You just go to image and scale image and just make it bigger. <clears throat> Next thing I do is go to uh, create layers and go to background layer select it and hit OK and you go up to the top where it says mode and you switch it to screen. The next thing you do is you go to your paths tool, select it, and you, uh, of course I always make the picture bigger to make it easier to work with and start selecting my paths. This usually only takes, if, if you find a picture with a good sword and you take your time with it and do it upright it, it looks really good I didn't blur this out as much as I should have for the width of the blade and you know it, all those things come into play when you're working on it when you're doing a lightsaber as you noticed in some of the pictures in the beginning of this video the lightsaber, the glow, and everything just was perfect. It's because I took my time on it. <laughs> and this is just a how to. This will give you a rough idea on how to do this. So you connect those last two bits there. And then you go to select. Go to select from paths. And that highlights it. And then you go to your bucket tool and you switch the colors to white and you fill that. Then you go up to select again and select none. Then you want to duplicate this twice. You click on your original layer, go over to filters, go to blur, and then Gaussian blur, and leave it at 5 for the first one. blur that out go to your next layer go to filters down to blur Gaussian blur and take that one up to about 20 I should I could have gone to about 30 with it and that would have made it look better and made the next one 40 or I mean 60 which would have given me about the right size blur I went to like 42 here Next, you go up to the top layer, the one you just blurred, and right click on it, go to merge down, go to up to mode and set it to screen, go to your next layer, right click on it, go to merge down, go up to screen, or if you go up to mode, set it on screen, and then go over to color, and hit color balance, and Let's see. I think I I went with a green in the end. I was kind of stumped on which color to go with. So I went with green, apparently. Obviously. So anyway, that's all you do with that. Hit OK. And then go up and set it to, well, go up to that layer and merge it down. And then you're done. Then you just go and export it. Or in this case, I just overwrite, overwrite, because I didn't want, didn't really care about the original picture. So that's it. Y'all take care and have a good one. And uh, if you have questions, let me know.